All right, so let's look at some examples with addition and subtraction, okay? Um, again, uh, with, with, with addition and subtraction uh, problems, as we discussed in class, um, <clears throat> we have to make sure that these uh, powers of 10 are the same. Because what are they doing? They're moving the decimal around. And when you add numbers, you always have to make sure the decimal is in the same place. Um, otherwise, you'll get your, uh, your digits wrong. Okay, so here, uh, it's, it's simplest if we always just convert the lower one to the higher one. So let's move this uh, 10 to the 1 up to a 10 to the 3. Okay, so we're going to change our number here uh, before we add it so that the decimal will be pushed the same amount in both cases. All right, so let me just rewrite this uh, next to it here times 10 to the third, and then this one we're going to change. All right? It's saying, um, basically what we want to say is uh, what number times 10 to the third, because I, I want that part there, so I can go ahead and write that. I'm going to have some number times 10 to the third that will give me this same value times 10 to the one. Okay, So let's look at it this way. If I have to move this one place to the right there, that's um, the same as moving it three places to the right from point zero, uh, uh, what would that be, zero, zero, one, right? Or zero, one. Uh, okay, let's, let's write this out. Zero point zero one, and I didn't leave enough room, zero, eight, two. Okay, now one, two, three is the same as moving it one place. Okay, hopefully that uh, that makes sense. We'll do a few more to get the idea. So now this is where our decimals really are aligned. It's not here um, because now they're both being pushed the same amount and so they're always going to be in line wherever they are. Okay, whereas here this one's being pushed three this one's only being pushed one, and so in reality, they're not aligned here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add these, and we have 3.22082, okay, times 10 to the third. And you'll notice it's already in proper scientific notation, so we're, we're done. And if we had changed them both to the times 10 to the 1, what would happen is, more than likely, it wouldn't be in, in proper scientific notation. We'd have to do another step. So sometimes this uh, converting to the higher one eliminates that step. That's why we did that. All right, let's do another example. We have uh, 8.802 times 10 to the negative 2 plus 3.108 times 10 to the 0. So this time, which one is higher? The zero. So we're going to convert both of those, or, or rather convert this one to the zero. Um, and we can go ahead and write this one down since that one is not going to change. Oops, times 10 to the zero. And here, um, if we make this times 10 to the zero, that will just move that two places. So we'll have a, 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 we'll have a zero here. If we move this back two places, it'll be point zero, um, point zero eight eight o oh two. Okay, so you just move it two places back, and where and you put the decimal there. And of, of course, um, most often. We write a zero in front, although it's not entirely necessary. Okay, times 10 to the zero. Now we add these together. Now our decimals are aligned because we're, um, we have them both in the same, uh, same place. I'll go ahead and write this down here. So we have 3.1, 
um, and this, uh, normally we start from this side, I guess, 2, 0, and then 8 and 8 is 16, so we carry the 1, and we have 9 there. Okay, so there is our answer. Okay, now let's look at subtraction. Identical principle, um, absolutely nothing different. We have to um, make sure these are both the same before we do the subtraction. But the only difference between the addition problems and the subtraction is that uh, we're subtracting these ones. All right, um, But we're still going to convert the 2 times 10 to the 2 to a times 10 to the 3, converting to the larger one. Okay. Now, if I move, it, what this is saying is I'm moving the decimal place from here two places to the right, all right, and I want to move it three places to the right to get it to that same uh, place as it is showing here. So that means in order to get it here, by moving it three places, it has to start out there. So 0 0.923 times 10 to the third, okay? Now, I move it three places to get it after the three, whereas here, I just moved it two places to get it after the three, okay? And I'm going to subtract those. So, you see it is um, just the same process as we did before, except this time, we're going to subtract it. And I'm just going to go ahead and use the calculator for that to make things uh, simpler, 6.605 minus 0.923. You'll notice the calculator also um, puts the zero in front. 5.682. All right. So there's our result. Again, check to make sure that it is in proper scientific notation. One digit, the decimal, any remaining digits. So we're good.